So now I want you guys to take a journey with me to the Bayou City and let me introduce you to the life of Houston. My name is Matthew Warden. I'm a Houstonian. I've lived here all my life and I absolutely love it. Hi, I'm Alea Crawford and I'm the First Lady of Houston and I'm the hardest working woman in show business. I'm Aaron Walker, born and raised here in Houston, Texas. Hi, my name is Justin White, also known as Mr. Fancy to some people. My name is Kevin Valentino. Um, I am originally from Jacksonville, Florida, aka Duval. Hey, I'm Justin Roach. I am 27 years old. I've been living in Houston for about seven years now. Valentino. Um, I am originally from Jacksonville, Florida, aka Duval, for those who know. Um, I moved to Houston, love, finance, and just trying to come and live the American dream. Everybody says it's bigger in Texas, so that's why I came. I am the owner and CEO of Cave Valentino Designs, where we focus on photography, personal styling, and company branding. And that is exactly who I am, my brand. So today, people are gonna kinda get to see exactly what I do as far as my model calls, my castings that we do throughout the city of Houston to make models successful. You get to see some of the boys that come in. Now, I always try to explain to people, a casting is not something that you hire models to come to. A casting is where guys come to be considered for a project. So, I mean, maybe you'll consider some of these guys for a project, you know. show some appreciation to my girls. I have a wonderful staff. I mean, hair, makeup, people have no idea what it takes to run a glamour squad for males and females. I'm gonna take my girls to the spa and let them just chill, have a little fun, and you know I brought some boys just to make it interesting. totally the same but on I guess my side of the tracks I myself love to be around beautiful men period point blank now if I never touched one of them that thought is still there I can't say that it makes you gay but I can say that you're not acting on your homosexuality that's what I can say for sure whether whether you are or are not you're not acting if all you do is surround yourself so what if with you ask? Like, now if you ask but you don't want to be in a relationship you just ask 
Oh, it's okay to be gay and I want to be in a relationship. A lot of people don't. Like, <laughs> I just chose to be married. Gay, you still feel like you're gay. Oh, you're still, if you are acting in homosexual activity, key word, you are a homosexual. Now, whether you are a bisexual in that equation, that's totally up to your own defining. But if you play the role, you're not playing anymore, honey, once you've stepped into well, it. Well, I had some friends that wanted to know, so now I can let them know. Oh, okay. Oh. I get it. <laughs> Now, so, uh, okay, now, uh-uh. Precious is really one of the juicies who has, who, who we trying to sneak on in. So let me go and get what, what Precious okay, has for me. Okay, so my question is, we all have a certain place where things go. So when <laughs> you we? enjoy your fun, does it hurt or? Do what? Thank you so much, hallelujah. And I'm gonna answer your question now. <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm gonna say to that is, is when you do whatever, does it hurt? Because size matters for us, so does it hurt when you do it? Mm, I don't think so. Okay, I don't well, think so. You, okay, well, if it hurts, it was a real good hurt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, I'm not speaking for, you know, for everybody, but I mean, if it hurt, it might have been great. This was crazy. Now, as always, Miss Lovey, my publicist, comes up with some crazy idea for the girls to ask Caven all these crazy questions. But what was weird about it is, all the girls wanna know, is, is he hung? Is he not hung? Does it hurt? How do you put it in? Well, girl, it's not that far from your anatomy, honey. Y'all know the deal. It's we're exactly the same. You like size, we like size. You like to feel it, we like to feel it. And you're never going to get KV to sit on, you know, in front of a group and say, what I do? <laughs> I please, baby. That's all it's about. I please. That's all you're going to get from me. Kayvon, um... I feel like he is very flirtatious to have a man of his own and for him to claim that they're in a deep, deep, deeply relationship. I mean, to each his own. I mean, they may be in a relationship, but I still feel like he's over flirtatious to be as serious with his man as he say he is. My name is Matthew Warden. I'm a native Houstonian. I was born here in Houston, Texas. I absolutely love it. As of right now, I am a leasing consultant for a high-end management company. Uh, I model as well. So I set up a date for me, my mom, and my sister to go out and have a few drinks and uh, just kind of talk and just I just wanted to let them know that how much I appreciate them and how much I love them and um, whenever we get together whenever we talk and having just a, a really really good conversation or talking about something that's meaningful to all of us it always tends to become emotional but it's like we grow every time that we talk and we bond and I absolutely love that. I wanted to bring you two beautiful ladies here today, wow. this evening, um, just to show my appreciation for you, just to let you know how much I love you. I just really appreciate mom. I really appreciate you for accepting me for me and loving me unconditionally, despite my decisions, despite the lifestyle I've chosen. I just really appreciate you and I really love you. And I know that I have made some decisions in the past of growing up that weren't the best, but with your guidance, with both of your guidance and your love and for your dad as well, y'all have shown me, y'all, Just say what's in your heart. Just say what's in your heart. Because my, my thing is, I love you just because you're you. When you were born, I had you so late. When you were born, I, had, I was, what, 40 when I had you? And I just thought, my God, I am blessed with a son. I have a son. How could I not love you? 
no matter what your choice is in life, God loves you, I love you. And it's my desire, not only for you, but for others who walk with you, that we love everyone beyond tolerance. We're just not tolerating, we're loving for real. And it takes courage to do that on both of our parts. So, I thank you. Thank, thank you, you for, for doing this. Hey, I'm Justin Roach. I am 27 years old. I've been living in Houston for about seven years now. I'm originally from Evergreen, Alabama. What attracted me to Houston was a lot of my family members and friends told me there were a lot more opportunities here and I'm not so sure about that. I do know one thing about Texas, it's hot as hell here, very hot. So today I decided to meet with my um, homegirl Whitney. We hadn't seen each other in a few weeks. So I decided why not to just meet her at Berry Hill and to talk about a few things that we need to, that I feel like we need to catch up on. And me just being honest with you, I can clearly see that you are unhappy in this situation. And what I always tell you, do what makes you happy at the end of the day. My thing is with Daryl, like I think he's a wonderful person, but he's just not for you. Just because someone is great on paper, that don't mean that they're right for you. I, I feel like Daryl is an amazing guy. He's a great person. I do love him, true enough. I've always wanted to be happy and married, and as of right now, he put a ring on it. But when it comes to supporting me, I feel like Daryl, looks at things one ways, and I like to think of him as a straight guy. True enough, we sleep together, we do what we do. Bam, it's there. Let me, okay, right there, what you just said. You think of him as a straight man. He is not a straight man. What y'all do at night, ain't nothing straight about that. Child, that's a hot mess with a side of fries. And you and I both know. My thing is, the longer, you just keep this going and prolong it. If you're really worried about his feelings, you making it worse. You digging yourself deeper in the hole. Because would you want somebody playing with your emotions for a year or so, two years, three years down the line? You don't want that. I'm not playing with his emotions. I don't feel like I'm playing with his emotions because... You playing with his emotions. So, so really. It ain't no way to sugarcoat it. It ain't no way to put it. You playing... I know that you don't have any... This is not what you're trying to do. Your main purpose is not to hurt him, obviously, but that's what you're doing, and you don't even realize it. By lying to him, by living this, on, you know what on, I call quote-unquote fake relationship. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because there, there is no lie. I'm not lying to him. I've never lied to him, yet I never will lie to him. But, I, don't give me that look, because <laughs> girl, I would throw this cocktail at you. I really can't believe she just tried to come from, come from me, knowing the problems she has going on in her life right now. But you know what? She just better be happy she was my friend because I started to drag her across that table. Girl, hold on. Don't be mad at me because I'm gonna speak the truth. Now no. you sitting there talking to me like I don't know you. No, 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 I'm not mad at you. The only issue I have with Daryl, Daryl is Daryl, I feel like Daryl does not support me in anything for is what I like. I feel like Daryl grows to like what I do, but he doesn't genuinely care. It's because y'all two do. different people. It's not the fact that he and, don't and support what you do. Y'all just hold two on, different people. On. No, and listen, no, issue. listen, listen. You want to party, you still want to basically live like you single. No, I don't Darryl want want you to come home. Darryl want to cuddle. He want to sit in front of the TV and y'all cook for each other. And he want to live that married life. Clearly, you're not ready for that. I'm, no, I'm ready for that. I just want someone to genuinely care for what I do and what I like to do. Uh, that's one thing that I really can't agree with my friends when they want to tell me about my relationship because no one knows your relationship better than you. I know you're my friends, but when it, but when it comes to my relationship, it's my relationship, it's not yours, especially when you don't have a man of your own.
So today I'm meeting with my friend Roxanne. I haven't seen her in a while. We run into each other every now and then uh, performing with each other because you know I've got so much going on and so does she. But we know who has the most going on. <laughs> I'm so glad we finally got time to, you know, have a day off. Uh, we've been working so much. I wanted to have lunch with you to catch up. Well, what's been going on? Well, I don't have a day off. I have two. I have two shows today, and so it's like my schedule is so busy. Writing the column, and now I'm starting this talk show. It's like I have absolutely no time to myself. I didn't even know my life was gonna just lose itself like that. <laughs> that there, there's always going to be someone not supporting what we're doing. Like, oh, there's always going to be that one person that, that's going to hate and say, that is ratchet, that is It's going to be dumb. more than one. <laughs> it's going to be more than one. Mm. And I, you know, at this, at this point, like, I, I'm the type of person, like, I really can't take that. I've been beat up so much in my life, like, in relationships and, and, and you know, and, and, you know, just in business, I've been yeah. beat up. Like, I've worked so hard to not be the cliche transsexual. And, and I've said that. You're a survivor and you're a fighter. That's why I've always and admired I don't, you. Know? I don't think I can handle the, you know, the, the dissing. I, I, I mean, I, I turn my, sh my cheek. I don't say anything. I'm the big dog. I'm like, you know what? I'm not even going to comment on that. Mm -hmm. You know, because Facebook. But it hurts. Yeah, but it does hurt. You know, your love life does take a toll. Right. It's like, because I actually had a boyfriend break up with me because he got tired of being Mr. Roxanne. <laughs> Totally. Funny. Totally. <laughs> no, but it, I totally it, it understand. It broke my heart and it, it hurt. He got tired of being Mr. Roxanne. And then you, I had to break up with a guy who was too happy being Mr. Roxanne. So He you, wanted to be Roxanne. Well, no, he didn't want to be <laughs> Roxanne, but do you know who this is? Everywhere we went, do you know who this is? And I'm like, oh my God, that's not even how I roll. How are you sitting here trying to get things based on me and my name? I hate that. And so you, it's going to be hard to find love and it be real and genuine. And like you're gonna meet, especially being a transgender person, you meet guys that are into fetishes, and so they're they're too into what you are, and they're not seeing you as uh, as the true woman that you are. Now I don't know what your plan is for your transition, but I'm going to have the full surgery. I'm going to be a full full transgendered woman with vagina and all that. Oh wow! And so if I meet a guy and he's too into the other stuff that's going on, I'm like, hey, what you doing? <laughs> <laughs> that ain't for you. Yeah. And if he's too into that, then he's not the guy for me. Right. Because the guy that I'm going to be with needs to not want any part of that because I don't want any part of that. And so it's hard to find those guys. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, I'm, you might want to say I'm in a relationship with my career. Right. And it's like I have eight shows a week, a column, and now a talk show. I don't have time for a relationship. But that's the one thing that I crave the most. I'm a very lonely person. And mm. that's, you know, when I have, you know, having issues with addiction, that's where that came from. It's like I substituted my loneliness with drugs. And now I, that I have drugs behind me, and now I have issues with food. <laughs> I, you know, food is my new boyfriend. So it's like, you know, but I lost seven pounds last week, so I'm excited about that. That's a good thing. Lunch with Roxanne was great. Realized that we had so much of the same things going in common. She has a show, I have a show. She has a paper, I have a paper. We both do shows, and it's just great. But now I gotta get to work because now I gotta get to the next step. I try to be the voice of reason with the guy, with the fellas, but I know it's still something out there that's on the table and it needs to get out. You know, this blog, it's something with that blog, I just have a gut feeling that something is not being mentioned. mentioned. And I'm gonna get down to the bottom line of that because you know, I like to put names on things. Look, my purpose of being here is trying to make this shit right and my philosophy on things like this could be a little, little different, but I grew up in Sunnyside. And if you got an issue with him, and you got an issue with him, how I have it, we box that shit out. But I'm not gonna suggest that to you guys, <laughs> but it's, it is an air. Well, I just got my teeth fixed, Justin is still getting his fixed, so I don't, I don't think I want to pop off. Um, was that, was, was that a look? Yeah, actually, that, that was, was a, that, that was I got my teeth shaded? That like, was shady. Like, no, 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 and this is something that I, I wish people start realizing. If I just said, I got the same process that you're currently in. How is that? I'm just clarifying. You no, need to get that whole yeah. thing. Are you
Yeah, yeah, but it's no reason. Yeah, but that's what that's what we end up where we are. Like and instead of us being able to just what take the comment right? with what makes it right. right. Because I can't how can I read him having braces when I just took them off? Okay, that's still you you still that's still a read. No, that's not she yeah, I'm just done like, directly. Like, 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 undercover read. No, that's not undercover read. That's that's saying I wouldn't want to fight her because she got braces in and I know what they do to your fits in your house. Justin White. Mr. Bicoastal, um, he stays in Atlanta, he stays in California, he stays in, he's, I don't even know if he got a house, period. He's probably going from house to house uh, since he's a he's an author. Um, but the, he is very ugly, very ugly. And he has braces, like 2014. I didn't think they did braces anymore. I thought they did like invisible lines. Um, but the bitch is, I mean, she's really, really ugly and I just don't understand how ugly people can call themselves Mr. Fancy. I just don't see it. With me, I don't care if you got braces, if you got a motherfucking uh, <laughs> Because I'm a boss. Yeah. Any bitch wanna fight me, I'm right here. Hey, see we're team. our own bosses in our own way. I'm easily accessible. Okay. This is not where I'm at. But, uh, and you see, now those to me, like if, if you're gonna say that me saying something about your teeth was a read, then that's an underlying read. So I feel like the issue that you and I currently and always end up having is a lot of things that we put out as far as each other, like one person has to end up defending it or one person has to end up trying to, I guess, clean it up to not make it look as- I'm not clean shit up. I mean, because what I feel is what I said. So again, you get jumpy, you get mouthy, and then you get mad when somebody turn around and attack. But, but you don't allow people like to just sit in their comment zone. I you don't let people like get a clean space. Like and what pisses me really off is... I talk like this because I can back it up. Well, how to put a name on And that be the thing. You have no idea well, so if you could back me up. It is so many times when I really want to bust you in your fucking mouth so, and call it the hood and right let people just say, but, I'm not going to go to your level. I'm not going to go to your level because they will carry you out. And that's it. real. It. Like, that's all that is. You get real, real little girl. You can tell you're young. You can tell You have to get that command, but you don't have that command. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do it in a beater way. Don't you sit it. your low life ass right here and you deal in your bubble, and what I'll do is be, I'll be, I'll be the beat girl that grabs her cocktails be. and say, I don't play with you. Bitch, ain't nothing beat about you but your face. <laughs> really? No, is it? Yeah. Bitch, yeah. check those records, boo boo. Check yeah. those records. You, you need to download Bye. some real shit. Bye. Now, do me a favor when you get your skin Bye. together. Shit. Call Mary Kay, get your skin right, and then call my barber. Oh, guess what? Really? 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 My bitch, nothing is cohesive. You have on gray trim with gold trim. Bitch, call it out. I'm a stylist. You are an imitation ass fucking author. You a stylist. Guess what? This is how I choose. This is how I choose to do style. This is how I choose to do style. Check my project. Check my project. It was the oh, did you? My client was just on TMZ. Where is that? It, 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 it literally says, just saw my client on TMZ because it's 
after all the ah, rumor and ah, Like, you're, you're fooling me. Okay, you ah. got to do We put a lot of issues on the table, and I really do feel that um, we're starting to mend. And um, I think we got to do, you know, some, some exercises, maybe some team building exercises to get everybody there. And I know that I may pop off, I, I can go to 0 60 in like 20 seconds. But at the end of the day, right is right, wrong is wrong. I had to make that right with Justin, and I did. And um, I try to lead by example. So I hope that the fellas took that and you know ran with it and understood my position and me understanding Justin's position the last time that we were at it. The conversation um, to me was was pretty repetitive. I mean, I feel like we talked about things that we've already talked about, and at this point, I'm no longer interested in talking about them. Yes, I wrote the blog. Yes, I talked about, you know, certain people on the blog. I don't want to discuss that anymore. We, we passed that out already. I've moved past it. I don't have any, you know, negative feelings towards anybody at this point. I feel like um, I've come to a res resolution with that. I'm at a, at a good point. Some people in this group, I can continue to grow up, I mean, and have a relationship with, and others I want, and, I, and at this point, I'm okay with that. I don't feel like there's nothing else for me to um, prove to, to any of these guys. I mean, I have credentials. I'm licensed to teach in two states. I have two books. I, I run a blog. I, you know, have a fashion company. You know, I'm legit. You know, my, my pedigree speaks for itself. I don't have anything to prove to anybody at this point.